So behind us here we have our new Cuban crocodiles. So we have two females, um, one of them who is in the water, uh, arrived from Peyton Zoo, so her name's Fang. And then up on the bank we have another female who arrived from Colchester Zoo. So brand new to us here at Longleat, a species we've never held here before, really, really exciting. Um, it's been a long couple of weeks of, of progression and getting the enclosure ready for them. So unsurprisingly, um, transporting two crocodiles isn't the easiest of jobs. Um, lots and lots of sinking of journeys, so it's really important for these two girls that they both arrived at Longleat at exactly the same time. Um, crocodiles especially are a really territorial species, so even if we'd put in one today and one tomorrow, those 24 hours differences would have made a huge drama. So, touch words, everything behind me is nice and settled at the moment, so I'm uh, really happy with how everything went. So Cuban crocodiles are classified as critically endangered, which means there's only around 4,000 of them left in the wild. Uh, most risks are hunting and hybridization with closer relatives. They're only a, a medium-sized species of croc, uh, but that does still mean that they are two meters long and weigh up to around sort of 80 kilos, and that's just for a female. Males are gonna get up to uh, close to 11 feet long and weigh around 200 kilos, so they are massive, massive animals. I'm really excited to have crocodiles here. Um, it's a species that we've never held at Longleat before. Um, I've always been a bit of a dinosaur geek. Um, as a little boy, absolutely love dinosaurs. You don't get much closer to, to a dinosaur than, than these two girls here, and I'm really excited to work with these two girls um, going forward.